Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Hambone here and in today's video we're going to be covering my guide in No Man's Sky on how to make units. That's right, you heard me correctly. We're going to teach you how to make money today. And you might be a fledgling a space adventurer just rolling out of the space anomaly for the first time and wondering now where to go as the game has turned you completely loose. And that's what I've done here with this character. And I want to show you a couple of different methods. We're going to go over how to make your first million units. And then we're going to show you how to make your first billion units. Yes, you heard me right. That is a billion with a B. So let's pay attention here and we'll go through the methods. First of all, we need to go to a planet. Okay, so we're already right here next to this planet. We'll go ahead and just drop in here. This is the first method. The only thing you need to do uh, to do this method is have at least been through the space anomaly. That's it. That's all you need to know. And also the second method. Now, for the second method, you're going to want to save up. You need at least 300 nanites. To get the stuff necessary to do the next method. And I hate these planets. Ugh. There's nowhere to land ever. But you're going to want 300 nanites for the second method. So do keep that in mind. Um, there's a key important thing that you're going to have to research with nanites to do the second method. But first method we're going to do. And there probably isn't going to be any on this stinking planet. Nah. Okay. So what we're looking for is buried technology modules, and I'll come back to you whenever I find a planet that has some. But you're gonna, you may have to flop around to planet to planet uh, to find a place where there's plenty of them. But that's what you're looking for for this method, and I'll see you guys as soon as I find a planet with some buried technology modules. Alright, so we have landed on another planet in the same system. This happens to be a paradise planet, and we have plenty of what we need around here, it looks like. So what we're looking for is these little things right here called the buried technology modules. You look through your analysis scanner and that's how you find them. Now before you run off and go and grab these, you're going to want to make sure that your ship has at least 25% launch fuel. And you do that by looking here. You can see we have 50% so we're good. The reason you want at least 25% is because early on that's what it takes to launch your ship. And if you're halfway across the planet, like, you know, if you've been running around and searching for these and do I need some oxygen or am I good? I'm good. Are you, if you've been running around searching for these, um, and you can't, uh, you know, if you've been looking around and then you realize that you're, you know, on the other side of the planet away from your ship, and of course we would fall in a hole, but if you realize you're on the other side of the planet away from your ship, then that causes issues because you're going to have to take an hour running back there. But if you can summon your ship, as long as you have launch fuel, then you don't have to worry about it. Then you can worry about making the launch fuel once you get your ship summoned to you. And we're going to dig our way out of here. Give me just a moment. But you can worry about making the launch fuel once you get your ship summoned to you. And then go from there. We're going to go ahead and grab this oxygen here just so we can be plenty good. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we came over here. There's a couple of them here. This will be plenty for the today. But... You're going to want to make sure that uh, you have the launch fuel. That way you don't have to worry about running back to your ship because you're just going to be going from buried technology module to buried technology module. And you're going to see here in a moment, we're going to get a whole bunch of these. What it gives you is salvage data, which is what you use to research construction components and that sort of thing. And you're going to want to save enough to get the medium refiner for the next part of the thing. But you can just sell all this and then grab some more. Uh, whenever we figure out exactly what the medium refinery costs, because I can't remember exactly what it costs right now, but you're going to want to, you know, have enough to do that. But we want to get, you know, 20 or so of this, and you see we got two there. Sometimes you get four; it just varies. And right now, currently, I think I've got six. So it won't take; it doesn't take very long. You, know, you take like an hour, and you do this, and it's really simple. Now. There's not really a whole lot to this method other than grabbing these and then selling them at the space station. That's how you do the first method, and there's, it's pretty simple. You're going to want uh, to save up some nanites, too, for the second method, so do keep that in mind. But overall, this is how you do the first method. You just want to go from buried technology module to buried technology module, and I'm going to go collect about 20 or 30 of these, and then I will see you guys on uh, the space station where we're going to sell these and then talk about the second method and what you need to do so for the second method. Okay, so as you can see, we have acquired 35 of the salvage data. And what we're going to do is run and right quick, we're going to go to the uh, spaceship anomaly or space anomaly. And uh, we're going to summon that. 
and pull that up. That way we can uh, go ahead and get our uh, research done on the medium refiner for part two of this video. But we're going to go ahead and pull up, pull up here and go in, pop in there and get that research. And then we're going to go over and we'll have about 25. It takes 10 to uh, get the medium refiner from the research station we're going to run over here and uh, as soon as we get in here it takes a couple of minutes to get into this thing every time you go in but as soon as we get in here we're going to run over there to the guy who does the spaceship upgrades right now we're not doing spaceship upgrades we're going to the construction counter we're going to the construction counter and we're going to grab the medium refiner uh, we're going to go ahead and get that it's going to cost us 10 of the uh, uh, salvage data and we're going to use those 10 and then we're going to go over to the space station and sell the other 25 and then those 25 are going to be what makes us our money off of that 25 we can expect just over a million units something like 1.2 million roughly depending on what the cost is in the system where we're at but just over a million units is what we're going to expect there out of that we're going to run over here real quick and we're going to grab this and then we're going to go and i'll see you at the space station as soon as we pick this up i just want to show you where your research is at so we're going to go over to technology and then we're going to grab medium refiner right there cost 10 of the salvage data and now what we're going to do is pop in over at the space station all right so here we are at the space station and we're going to go ahead and land here i do want to apologize all of the game sound had to be cut out for the this next segment and the last segment and then probably another segment of this video as i lost a lot of the audio after during the editing stage for some reason the uh, sound didn't carry over from the recording and so we lost all of that so you're gonna have to hear future me uh, after the video's been done kind of explaining what's going on here so we're gonna go over here to the terminal and we're gonna sell our uh, salvage data and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start in on part two of this video and that will be that we're gonna buy oxygen and cobalt and we're gonna go ahead and sell our salvage data here and it takes me a second to find it but there, there you go 1.28 million not a bad little payday there for about 30 minutes worth of work we're gonna go ahead and sell it and then we're gonna buy and this welcome to part two of the video we're gonna go ahead and buy our cobalt and oxygen we're gonna buy all of it that they have here and we're gonna travel around to each new system we're gonna go from system to system from space station to space station and we are going to buy cobalt and oxygen until we go broke now you're gonna want more oxygen than you want cobalt you want like six thousand ish oxygen uh, I, I'm gonna wind up with about six thousand oxygen and about three thousand cobalt we're gonna turn that into uh, a quite a bit of cobalt Cobalt is how this is going to work, but you're going to want more oxygen than cobalt because oxygen is one is the key ingredient of this process. You're going to want as much oxygen as you can possibly have, and if you can have multiple refiners going at one time, you're going to have multiple refiners. That'd be great. That'd be much more efficient. But what we're going to do now is because I forgot to originally, and so that's where I'm doing now. We're going to summon the space anomaly. And we got to grab the uh, economy scanner from the space anomaly. And we got to grab that, research it, and put it in the ship here so that we uh, can discover the trading outpost on the ground. Uh, that's what it's used for is finding trading outpost and uh, telling you how uh, rich each system is before you go there. That way you can kind of tell. But we, we're going to make sure that we get the economy scanner. That way we can see the trade outpost. Because if we have the ability to go to trade outpost, what will happen? is when it comes time to sell and the process of what we're doing here is we're taking cobalt we're refining it into ionized cobalt and then you're taking ionized cobalt and putting it with oxygen and you get six ionized cobalt for every ionized cobalt and then you take those ionized cobalt that's who you multiplied by six times and then you turn them back into cobalt and you got way 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 it's it's like 20 times the cobalt that you start with or it's, it's a ridiculous amount uh, of cobalt that you gain by doing this method and so what it allows you to do is make enough cobalt to where you can crash economies but you're going to see here you need 300 nanites for this you should have those when you leave the tutorial uh you have that's about roughly what it gives you you got to get the teleport scanner and then you got to get the economy scanner and um then you got to go buy microprocessors and wiring looms which will just, just pop back in the space station buy those and then you're well on your way to being a very successful and very very rich space pilot because you know you made your first million here and congratulations on that but we're going to show you how to make a billion because at the end of the video i'm going to show you what my take is whenever i sell an inventory full on my main account my main character of this stuff and about what i make it per system is about 100 million 
uh, units roughly what I make profit per system. So we're going to go ahead and hop back in the spaceship here. And I'm going to go over to the space station. We're going to get what we need, but I'll probably cut that out. And uh, we're just going to carry on with the video. And the next time you see me, I'll be at my base on the ground, which is where you'll need to be for the next part of the video. Once you have bought all of your cobalt and your oxygen so that we can start the duplication process, or rather the process of refining and then unrefining and then re-refining. So you can see here we wound up with about 3,000 cobalt and 6,000 oxygen. And in just a few short minutes, we're going to turn that into about uh, 20,000 cobalt. And so it doesn't take, you know, the, the quicker you can do this much, much, much faster if you have multiple refiners going but with just one refiner it's going to take you 20 to 30 minutes or a couple of hours even to get a substantial amount you're going to want to want like a, at least like half of an early inventory full if not a full early inventory to make about five million ish uh, profit per sale so 10 million roundabout per system and uh, you're going to need all that to make sure that you get your sale and get everything rolling properly. Now you see here we're going to build us a refiner. It doesn't take too much. Uh, magnetized ferrite is the worst part of the refiner building process. And you can just refine ferrite dust or you can go and find a uh, thing of magnetized ferrite on a, another planet somewhere where they have a, uh, the ability to mine it. And just go ahead and mine it just like you would copper or anything else and have plenty of it. But this is going to take 10 minutes to process so we'll see you when it's done and we'll talk about the next phase of the process which is turning that ionized cobalt into six times that amount. Okay, so our cobalt is done. It's now refined into ionized cobalt. What we're going to do now is take that ionized cobalt, put it back in the refiner, add oxygen to it, and this is why you have to have a medium refiner because it requires having two slots. Add oxygen to that, and then you're going to get a bunch of ionized cobalt. For my 1500 here, I'm going to make about 8,000. It's times six, so yeah, about 8,000. Um, so not a bad payday overall but remember that the ionized cobalt is not what we're going to sell we're actually going to sell cobalt and so once you get this ionized cobalt you just put it in the refiner by itself and then it doubles and becomes cobalt so it makes twice as much cobalt as ionized so once you run this ionized through a couple of times it doesn't take long till you've got you know five six stacks of ionized cobalt and that's how you make a bunch of cobalt to make a bunch of money because any amount of ionized you have you can double in putting it into regular cobalt and so that's how basically the gist of this money making method and how it works and I'm going to show you in a second just exactly how much you can make on the high end. You know, I, I make, I sell about 40 stacks at a time and I make roughly about 40 billion or billion, 40 million units per sale, 40 to 50 million units per sale. And then I sell twice in each system. So I make roughly a hundred million units every time I do this per system. So it's really not a bad setup. And the best way to do it that I found is to purchase, once you make some money, purchase a uh, hauler class ship something with like 30 slots and then put all your cobalt in those slots and then whenever you need money some in your ship and go around sell for a little bit and then just uh get back in your other ship and be all hunky-dory that's how i do it and that's the best way i found to do it because it just it's basically free money that just shows up at your feet whenever you need it and i'll show you uh, a little bit later in a video what i'm talking about but we're going to go ahead and give these time to cook here and then i'm going to show you the results and then we're going to go in and sell on my main save so be looking forward to that in just a second all right, so our processing is done on that round. As you can see, we've got 5,048 ionized cobalt. If we were to run it all through again, we'd uh, wind up with about 30,000 um, ionized cobalt. And then remember that any amount of ionized cobalt you get doubles when you turn it into cobalt. And we're going to show you that. Um, so you want to get a pretty good amount, several stacks. And actually, it only does 4,095 at a time. So that'd actually be about 10, 11,000 cobalt come out of this because there's one ionized equals two regular. You're going to want to get multiple stacks of ionized, you know, like maybe, let's see, four would make eight stacks. How many? Two. Three. You're going to want like five or six stacks of ionized cobalt. It's going to take you a couple, maybe an hour or two to do this, especially if you don't make multiple refiners. But once you have that, then you just turn it back into cobalt. And then I'll show you the selling process here in just a moment where you can go around and sell it and make a fortune i'm going to show you um i'm going to show you how far you can actually go with it and how much money it's possible to make using this method and so we're going to go ahead and load into my main save and i'm going to show you exactly the possibilities of making so much money uh, with this method and once you have um, duplicated it keep in mind once you've turned it into cobalt 
sold it a bunch, you make a bunch of money, you can actually do it again and again and again and continue to make more and more and more until you can fill up an inventory the full size here, which is how much I sell at a time, and we're going to see what we get out of that. But uh, overall, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the, the video if you like it. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel out a bunch. We're going to go sell this stuff and see what I can show you and see what we can get out of it. All right, so now we're on my main save, and I'm going to show you what selling a huge amount of this stuff looks like. Let's go ahead and summon in my hauler here. And like I told you before, the best way to do this is to, once you made a bunch of money, like 30 or 40 million, go ahead and buy a hauler like this, and then you can just throw every bit of the cobalt in the inventory of said hauler, as you can see here. And then you can just take it and go around and sell, or you can transfer. We're going to go ahead and just take it and sell. Um, the, you know, you can uh, transfer if you want to and do it that way to your exosuit inventory. It's really up to you, but I'm just going to take the hauler here and sell. Go ahead and make a few of these because we're going to need them. But you can see here, I've got 549 million um, units. So we're pretty set on money. There's not really much that I really need money for. But I just wanted to showcase this and kind of show off and just show you guys how to make money using these methodologies and what you can do with it. And we're going to fly up here to the space station here. And Man, this thing flies like a brick. I hate flying this thing. I usually just transfer to my inventory. But for sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and just leave it in the hauler because once you get this hauler, you can put even more in it. You know, as long as you get one with like 30 slots, I think this one has, uh, I don't remember exactly. This one's like 40 slots. But once you get one with plenty of slots, then you don't have to uh, worry about your suit inventory anymore because your suit inventory is going to limit you on how much money you can make in the beginning. So once you can get a hauler, you can duplicate again and make even more money. And so really, you know, once you get enough cobalt around, the best way to do it is, like I said, just keep it in this hauler because you can just take this hauler around and sell whenever you're needing money. And so that's what I do. I just call it in and sell out when I'm needing money, and it really works out very, very well for me. Now, I'm going to fly over here and hit this little trade terminal, and you're going to see that I have enough. And this is really where you want to be. You want to have enough cobalt to crash um, the economy. So we're going to go here and there you go. 64 million. It's going to wipe out the demand. Okay. We're going to go over here to the buy category now and cobalt minus 80% demand, which means we can buy it for ridiculously cheap. So we're going to buy it all back and it's going to go into our starship inventory. And there you go. We now have made how much about 40 or 50 million and then we got to go sell it and remember we also have to sell it on the ground at a trade turn or at the trade uh, outpost on a planet so i'm going to go ahead and because i don't have this i do have the economy scanner okay i have an economy scanner on there as well a good good deal but i'm, I'm going to go in now and show you guys how to scan for trade outpost and what that looks like and then we're going to go land at one sell at one and then this is going to be the end of the video hope you guys have enjoyed today's video um be sure to drop a like let me know what i could do better let me know what you enjoyed about today's video and i'm going to try to make a few more guides on no man's sky over the coming weeks at least once a week this one was going to be a little bit late but this one took a lot longer to make than i anticipated okay we got it let's see where it's at this video took quite a bit longer to make than i anticipated there's multiple hours in this video um, but overall, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're going to fly here to this trade outpost on this planet. And what this allows us to do, because the trade outpost on planets and the space stations have separate economies, we can pop in here and sell again and they crash this economy as well. So every system, you're going to, you know, we made like, what, 40 or 50 million profit right there. We're going to make 40 or 50 million again. And so that's why I told you you could make like 100 million per system because there's two places to sell so this is really a good methodology to make money whenever you made enough to satisfy yourself for the time being buy a hauler throw it in there and then you can just make money again when you need it when you need it when you need it and it is just a fantastic way to make money in this game there are like uh, passive ways with farming and different things but for me you know once you've done this once you've done put in the time and you've made the cobalt then you can just keep it and you don't have to worry about it ever again. You can just go around selling it. You don't have to make it again. You know, so for me, this is the best way to make money in this game because you can just continuously do this. I mean, I could do this as long as I want to. There you go. See, we're up to 650 million, and that is pure money. Now, it didn't take me 
what, a few minutes to sell. So once you get going, it takes a couple of hours to make all this, but once you get it done, um, really this is probably the best way to make money in the game as far as it's easy. And Cobalt is a very easy to come by resource. And it's also sold at every space station and every outpost. So you never have to worry about wondering if you're going to be able to buy it back and sell it at the place where you're going. And so that's why I chose Cobalt. You can make more money per sale with ionized cobalt, but you can't always buy ionized cobalt and you have to really look around. And so for me, it's just easier to be able to bounce from system to system to system, selling and buying to your heart's content. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next No Man's Sky video where it's probably going to be my full beginner's guide to the game. I think that's what we're going to go for next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you and bye-bye.